everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have um two tutorials i'm going to be doing two cards using this gorgeous die set which i recently purchased from carnation crafts and this one is the daisy die and you can see it's got beautiful um dies within this set so you've got a huge um daisy which creates the large um daisy image you see there and then you're also going to be getting the layers here so this all comes away in one part and then these are the decoupage layers that you can layer on top of your daisy as well as some edges so you get a full shadow layer which i'm going to try and get out so this is going to create a shadow layer and then you have some edges so you get two edges a left and a right and basically this will create um a cut on either side of the main image so i'll show you what i've done already and i'm just going to get started and um show you how i've prepped my first card so for my first card i've got a white card base and i'm going to actually zoom in slightly so there's my white card base and then I've picked out this beautiful paper and it's a very subtle like a crackle effect paper I'm sure you can just see it right there and this is from grab the paper pad Craft Sensations Texture Vintage Card and there's lots of beautiful um, textured um, card, lightweight card in here so I've used one of those sheets and I've already cut it down to size and what I'm going to be doing is just putting this down flat onto my card base and for this I'll just be using some double sided tape so let's get some tape on here and these are really simple and easy cards that I'll be making with you today so I have actually been <laughs> neglecting my YouTube channel a fair bit because I've been so busy um, but the kids go back to school um, in a week's time so I'll have a bit more time to create here so let's get this stuck on zoom out a tad and I want to leave a white frame around my card here so that is my card base and it's going to be a traditional um, folding card so it's going to open like a traditional card and then I've cut out this layer again and this time I've cut out an aperture so with this die here I've just cut out the middle bit which is going to create my aperture and I've also put on it some double sided tape and I've doubled up on it just to give me some extra dimension so this will line up I'm going to put some wet glue on it as well in case I don't get it straight in one go I'll have a bit of time to move it around so let's get some of this glue going and you can use whatever wet glue you have I've just got some tattered lace essential glue here in my hand and then this will sit exactly immediately directly on top of the layer that's already on there and as you can see that's given me a little shadow in here so to create my flower now I've already cut the pieces out and I'll show you what I've done I'm gonna move that to the side so I've got my main image and I've used the vignettes that you can download from Carnation Crafts website I'll put the link below if you're interested and if um, my code is still available you can get a discount on these downloads so what I've done is cut out a first layer and then using the other die I've cut out all these that came off in one go so here what I'll be doing I'm in a bit of a weird position here I'm just going to slightly angle you in a different position so you're a bit more over the head there just like that and I'll show you how I'm going to construct this it's really easy it's a no-brainer really so you get a couple of large layers and then so you get three layers to go onto the large one and three onto the small one and on my last video I used some silicone glue but this time I'm just using some double sided tape and I'm just going to stick it down and a good way to remember or to recognise where they go the shadows are all in the same area 
so you can just line it up and stick it on and they go from largest to smallest when you're decoupaging get this there and then the last one which is going to go this way so that's my first flower all layered up then on to the smaller flower so this one goes like this then this bit goes here and then the last tiny bit is going to go just there. And then what I like to do is I just go in with my hand and give it a little scrumple up, give it some texture, extra dimension. I mean, you can do whatever you want with them. It's your project, your die cut at the end of the day. So there is no right or wrong way of doing any of this. You can ink the edges, you can cut out plain paper and colour it, just do whatever you want. So that's the kind of look I'm going for. And then what I want to do is stick this inside here. So I'll be using some wet glue to stick this down. And then I want to add some glue to the bottom here because I do want this kind of stuck down flat. And then this will sit inside the little aperture that we've created already, like that. Give this a little squish down. So that's that's how that's looking. I think that looks amazing. And then another thing that I've just done is I've just used one of my sentiment dies, and this is um, Crafter's Companion Happy Birthday die. And I'm just going to stick this in here. So for that, I'm just going to use some scrap, add some glue here, and then I just want to add glue to this edge and this bit here because the centre is going to be almost floating above this aperture here anyway. So I'm not going to be overly careful with this and I'm just going to put it down just here like that. And that finishes, well actually no it doesn't finish my card because I want to add, I'm just thinking, I've got some of these new nouveau um sequins and this is a beautiful new one and this is called pink tutu it's just there so this one's called pink tutu and i want to use um a bit of this so i'm going to get a few out onto the cap and then i want to probably just place a few maybe just randomly around here so I'll put a tiny bit of glue in various little areas and stick a few on so i've got three four five i thought just pull them out here it might be easier and this is one of the nouveau um see um squeeze <laughs> squeeze tweezers that i um, recently came in a kit which is very handy so i'll be using that to put my little sequins down and there's some various sizes in this so you can go in and put on whatever size you want and then I have one here and then another small one up here and I think now this finishes my card so that's the first card done and I'm just going to move my little bits and pieces out of the way and let's get started on the second card so for the second card what i have this time is more like a cream kind of a colored card base and it's a very similar size i've just chopped up some um a5 card size 
just how I wanted and again it's a traditional fold card and this time I've got some Anna Griffin cardstock and I've just cut a little slither down and then I've placed one of the edge dies on the side here and I've got the wrong piece here I'll show you what I've done I've put this edge on the card and I've cut it out to give me this little section here and then the leftover from this aperture here I've got here which I want to layer on top of there so let's get those stuck down and this time um, I just want the dimension slightly on the base I'm just going to put some double sided tape double sided foam and just a few more pieces like that Maybe one more piece just here so these foam squares that i'm using they come in this kind of size and it also comes in rolls and i get them from um, the works so if you're wondering where to get these squares and rolls together i get it from the works and it's very inexpensive okay and that's a uk craft shop okay so this is gonna go on here just leaving me a slight border again in the cream i'm gonna put that down this section here i'm gonna just put it on with some wet glue And I want to make sure it sticks down flat like that and I bet you can hear the ice cream buns just arrived really nice warm day today okay so that's that and then I've also made up another one of my daisies same way as I did the one I shown you before and this is gonna also go on with some wet glue because it's already dimensional so let's get this stuck on and this will sit on the shadow that's already there and by having a shadow layer you just um, can see the design a bit better like that and the last thing I want to add to this is hugs which is a lawn fawn die cut like that and I've just doubled it up on itself with some gold um some gold card and I'm just adding some glue to the back of this and I'm going to add this to the bottom here like that stick it down and that will finish off this card and I'm not going to add any sparkles because it's already quite sparkly with that mirror card and the Anna Griffin um, designer card there as well so these are my two beautiful simple cards using the same image but slightly different cards so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and um i'll see you soon Take care. Bye.